All right, in this video, we're going to place a trailing stop order on a moving average. So let me go ahead and get in the market here. And we're just going to buy. And we're going to do it at the market price here. Just get me in. And what I have here is the 8 EMA and the 20 EMA. We want to place a trailing stop on the 20 EMA. So if it comes back and touches that, it gets me out of the order. So to do that, we're going to click. And we're going to sell single. Then we're going to come down here to this little gear icon, click on it, open up the advanced order tab. And we're going to sell, and I'm going to do this at market. And we're going to make it good till canceled. Click down here under the symbol, get my symbol in. And method, we're going to do a study. So we're going to edit. We'll delete whatever's in there. We're going to look up here and make sure we're on the one minute time chart. That's what I'm trading on. And we're going to add a condition. This condition is going to be price. I'm going to make it ask price. If the ask price is less than or equal to a study. And the study is going to be the uh, exponential moving average. 20 period. And if it's less than or equal to it, it's going to execute the order and get me out of my trade. And we can confirm it here. Make sure it's triggered if true. We can look down here. Look at the condition here, make sure that's what we wanted. Save, and then we need to click Confirm and Send. Now, we see we have a waiting order here. And it's going to follow, it's going to bounce up and down as this moving average, the 20, the TAM one, the 20 moving average is moving around. We can go confirm what we just did by looking at our monitor tab. We see we have a working order here. It's to close. And I have it set at market. And we can look at the condition here under weight condition. Click the little gearbox. We can reread the condition. It says if this condition is satisfied, if the price is less than or equal to the 20 moving average, if that is true, execute this order. When that happens, it will get me out of my trade. So I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, it may take a little while. I'll speed up the video if it does. But couple things I want to point out you don't want to use moving averages to trail stop in a ranging market like if it were ranging right here you would have got chopped to death here lost a lot of money you only want to use it when you have some good separation between your tr uh, trend lines like I have my 8 and my 20 here and I got a good separation here and I'm trading above the 8 on this particular one so I, I know it's trending up right now and I'm using the uh, 20 exponential as my trailing stop and it's going to climb up as the price climbs up and it's, so it may instead of turning out to be a stop loss it may be a take profit target so it just depends on where this comes back it looks like it's going to be a take profit uh, on this particular trade because the the price is moving which it just seems like when you're doing a video and you need it to move against you so you can finish up the video, it just goes the other way. But anyhow, I may speed this video up. I don't know how long it's going to take, so we're just going to let her go. This is a good, uh, a good way to swing trade doing this. If that way you can set it and forget it. I have another video that I show you how you can get into the market and set your uh, trailing stop loss or trailing trailing stop all in one shot. So you can literally get in the market when the advantage is yours when for the right signals and all. But anyhow, I'm not going to go into that right now, but I will leave a link below for that video so you can see how you can do it all at one time so you don't have to uh, be in the market and come back and do it or if you're wanting to trade something and you're going to be at work or whatever uh, you can do it do it all have it have it all automated so there's I'll leave a link for that video in the description below Looks like price is getting close to where my stop's at. 
Remember, it's the ask price, so it's going to be a little higher than the bottom of the candle there. So even though it's equal to, we need the ask price to be equal to. And it's not right now. And there we go. We're out of the trade. And that's how it works. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell someone. You have a good day.